psychological effects of stress can be just as serious as the physical effects. And I think many people are not aware of how stressed they are and how it can impact their life negatively. Now there's some stressful situations that I think are quite obvious, such as death of a loved one, a life-threatening illness, or a divorce. But there's others that are maybe less common, uh, such as problems uh, at work or problems at home, problems with your marriage, or financial problems that kind of creep up on you uh, as time goes on. And you know, stress over time can cause irritability, anxiety, agitation, depression. But less common uh, effects that I think people forget about are problems with concentration, trouble making decisions, uh, constant worry, or loss of sense of humor. So I think the psychological effects need to be taken just as seriously as the physical effects of stress. Psychological problems can spill over to physical problems because when you're stressed, your muscles can become tense and it's not uncommon to have headaches, back pain, or neck pain. Also, stress affects how fast food may move throughout your body, so it's not uncommon for patients to tell me that they have an upset stomach or they're having diarrhea or perhaps constipation. Also, they may grind their teeth more or clench their jaw and have poor sleep patterns. And as we know, poor sleep patterns can lead to other physical complaints. Uh, lastly, many people who are stressed don't make the best decisions, and these poor decisions can affect negatively on their body. Stress can affect your behavior because stress can trigger changes in your body that make you more likely to get sick or make the problems you already have worse. Other risk factors such as obesity, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol can come into play because many people who are stressed eat more, they exercise less, they smoke, or they smoke more than they used to. Also, unfortunately, many people start abusing alcohol or drugs as an easy escape, uh, and uh, over time this may cause more problems in the future. I think the first step in getting stress under control is learning about the root of the problem. Is it your home life? Is it your work? Is it finances? Um, and once you've learned about that stress and what the root of the problem is, you have to realize you may not be able to eliminate it, but you may be able to manage the problem better in the future. And once you've learned about your stressor and how to minimize your reaction to it, do you react with physical complaints, emotional complaints, or do you have behavioral changes, you may learn how to respond better and deal with that stress better in the future.